and um, Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Skelet Cool. Today we are doing a makeup tag, which I was not expecting to do that, but that's what we're doing today. So if you're not familiar with what a makeup tag is, or a tag in general, it's like when you... I think it's something that we... that existed not like purely in the makeup world, but it's like a tag is when you basically do a bunch of questions, a bunch of a challenge, and you tag people to do it, and then other people try and re recreate that, and then they tag themselves other people and kind of creates a chain and stuff. A bit like the m email chain that existed in my time, um, except these videos have a purpose and they're not just scammy and cringy, hopefully. So the tag that I am doing today is the eyeshadow palette collection tag, which was created by Angelica Laramar. I'm probably butchering this name. I'm, I apologize in advance for this. I will link her video just here so you can watch it if you want. And I am doing this tag because I was tagged by someone, which I never thought would happen, but it did happen. So that's why I'm doing this tag. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Madelaide, for uh, tagging me. I really, really enjoyed your video uh, talking about it because it was very interesting to see uh, not only like palettes that you love, but also see you talk a bit about yourself. And I, I, thought, I thought that was very interesting. And since you're always very uh, articulate, I just found you very nice to listen to. So thanks a lot for tagging me. I generally was like, tearful by it. I feel like I'm making connections about makeup, but I never really, until now, I didn't have anyone that I was really connected with. And it's just, I don't know, it's nice to feel like, you know, you got more of a two-way relationship rather than like one way, if that makes sense. Just before we get started, in case this is your first time here, hi, my name is Armand. I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare, and hearing people talk about their passions and things, items they're passionate about and how they are connected to these items. So if you are interested in any of these topic, hobbies, uh, then consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Let's talk about some eyeshadow palettes now. <laughs> All right, let me just get the questions. I should have put them in my notes. Awesome. The first question is asking for an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me in terms of color story. Oh my God. I for I've been thinking about that question since I've been tagged, which was like probably last week. Like every single night I was trying to sleep and I couldn't, I just kept thinking who am I? <laughs> I literally had like a existential crisis. It was really, really odd. Going on a tangent here and kind of like talking about myself. Growing up, I feel like a lot of my identity was really inhibited. I grew up in a very small village, 200 inhabitants. And despite them not being directly hateful, it's just not a place where queer people really exist or display themselves and it's just like like the only way you see about queer people might be on like tv shows where it's like at that at that time where i felt like it was kind of like making f fun of them or it was a bit like you know gossip you know a bit like easy you know <laughs> i really feel like i <laughs> inhibited a lot of my identity and it's something i'm discovering now as i'm going into therapy and just also, as I'm coming out and making progress in my own transition in terms of gender, it's odd because I look so different from like a year ago, let like alone like five years ago, 10 years ago. I came out as gay when I was 18 and then I came out as trans non-binary maybe like three, four, five years ago. And now I kind of like really understand a lot more about myself, but obviously I'm also learning 
my identity, what I like and what I want to look like. Whew. That was a long thing. I kind of feel like grungy is quite a big thing, even if it's fairly new to me, just because, I mean, when I was a teenager, I, despite that, I wanted to wear the black eyeliner, but I never allowed myself to do it because I was too scared. I listened to rock music and that was the big thing of my identity. It was not like the notes were very like R&B and like, even the pop was very R&B and hip hop and that was not my vibe. And I really enjoy the indigenous of certain rock artists, so, such as Brian Molko from Placebo was a big fan of the music, but also the whole aesthetic around it. Now, talking about palette, because that's what we are here for, I've kind of selected two palettes that kind of fall both. It says of my identity, I'm, I see myself as someone that is very versatile in terms of style. And even though I do really like the grunge style and I'm love wearing some good like fishnets and like some Doc Martens, and there's always a little bit of that kind of slight edge punk grunge aspect to me, alternative. I also like things that are a bit softer, a bit more colorful, a bit more neutral, and like, I also love wearing a gray crop top hoodie with just a pair of mom jeans. And just like, I'm wearing like a pastel top. And so that was kind of like my idea as I was going through my makeup collection. So a make uh, an eyeshadow palette I thought of is the Kaleidos Futurism 6 Luna Lavender. This palette is mainly purples, but there's some very beautiful cool tone neutrals here. And there's also these beautiful like dual chromes. I don't know, I feel like, even though I'm not 100% sure if it represent me, it does tick a lot of boxes for me. I love, I love a purple like this. I love these pastel purples. I think they are stunning, they like, pretty in my top favorite colors, but I love neutrals too, and I love doing a cool to neutral look. We also have the duochrome to have something a bit more special and unique and sparkly. I feel like that represents me quite a bit in a way. So I did think about this palette, but it's not the one I ended up picking for this category. The palette I ended up picking, and I don't know if it takes as much to boxes, but <sighs> I don't know, there's something about this palette that really speaks to me and I'm I'm someone that tends to trust my emotions because I'm so emotional. So I decided to go with another Futurism palette from Kaleidos, at least the number one, Sci-Fi Green. And maybe it's not as versatile as the other because it's very much a statement of like these army khaki green uh, grungy colors. But the thing is, this is my favorite color, my favorite eyeshadow color in my entire collection in this palette. And it's that radioactive, which is that beautiful mustard leaning turmeric yellow. I love this color so much. Like pack this on my lid, blend this, done. Beautiful, beautiful color. But these greens are really beautiful too. And I, I don't know, I love khaki greens on me because I feel like Greens really suit me in a way. I think it's probably because of my brown hair and there is a little bit of like, there's some copper reflecting some of my hair and my eyes are like hazel green. And I just, I don't know, it really makes me pop, I feel. So that's why I kind of picked that one. That, that was an easy one. <laughs> What I really like as well is you can do a very grungy look, but you can also do like something kind of what I would consider grungy glam if you go into this like orange gold and just put all over your lid and can use the green and you can make like a very glamorous look. There's no, it still has a grungy edge and I feel like that's an aesthetic that really speaks to me. Oh my God, I only done one question, Jesus. Second question. An eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me in terms of packaging. Even though I could pick like a, a palette that's like grungy, mystique, uh, dark side to it, like the Urkana palette, I do, do really like the packaging and the aesthetic of this. I don't know if it exactly represent me. The palette I ended up picking for this question is the Escape Pod from Kaleidos. I'm sorry, there's gonna be a lot of Kaleidos palette in this tag. I own a lot of this stuff and I'm obsessed with them, so... <laughs> sorry, not sorry about it. 
<laughs> so I chose the Escape Park palette and I've, to be honest, I haven't dug too much into it. I think it's a very pretty palette, but I need to play with it more. I don't own any palette that is like overly luxurious in terms of packaging that is extremely stunning. I do really love the Kaleidos palette in terms of packaging, but I don't know if they really represented me. This one, I chose this one just because there's a lot of color, there's like texture, and it's just loads of fun. I feel like it's a bit like me, I'm quite kind of chaotic and bubbly and colorful and sparkly, but it's also very <laughs> the reason is like the worst, but it's quite bulky and like chunky and just like I am, so that's why I picked it. <laughs> it's very thick and I just, I feel like again, uh, being overweight and like being curvaceous and being like, it's been a huge part of my identity throughout my life. So I feel like it's it's quite important and I, I should take it into consideration in terms of these like representation question. <laughs> Next up, an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents spring. My mind went almost instantly to a particular palette and I don't know if it's quite spring, but it makes me think of spring and I'm not sure why. Because I don't know if I have a particularly spring-esque palette. And this is probably a bit more almost borderline summary, but anyway. The palette I chose is the Futurism 7 from Kaleidos, again, Sashimi City. And it's neutrals, which is odd because spring is usually all about colors. But because they're like peach, peachy, and everything has a peachy undertone, these two geochromes are so stunning. Um, so th this is like a gold, but it has a green reflect, which I I'm obsessed with this color. This is like a um, uh, copper uh, rose color, but it has like a golden kind of reflect. I just feel very like springy summery when I wear this palette. I usually love wearing it with that top actually because I feel like it's a beautiful contrast. And I just feel very springy and light and airy and that's what I want to feel like in spring. So that's why I picked that palette. <laughs> All right, the next question is an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents happiness. Again, took a while to like think about this one, but I, f I, f I think I found the one. And it is the Flare palette from Es Beauté. So it is that grungy rainbow S palette. And the reason why I picked that one is, it's a bit convoluted, but I think it makes sense for me. <laughs> is the, so it's, I feel like this color story is quite grungy. It's kind of warm tone. It reminds me a lot of Alton. And I love autumn, it's my favorite season. I always feel fairly good during that time. And particularly this year, I, I think I have memories that I really associate with a lot of happiness. At the end of last, last year, my overall mood has been going downhill and I'm just, I'm someone that struggles with a lot of like mental health issues. And um, in September, I kind of like went back into therapy and stung treatment and it wasn't like a super, easy time for me but we did have these lovely lovely holidays with my partner we went up north in scotland and during the autumn season we went to pit Lochery, which has this beautiful uh super scottish landscapes like you would see in like films and in pictures and for online and it's just I don't know, this palette reminds me a lot of that and it brings a lot of happiness when I see it. It's such a special place in my heart and it's part of the things that really soothes my mind and I think it really helped me in a moment where I was not in a great place, if that makes sense. So that's kind of where I went with this palette. It's, it's beautiful and I want to play more with it. Next palette is an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the dark, grungy in me. I did think again of the Arcana palette, but I mean, I have a palette that's exactly the perfect answer to that question. And it's the freak, it's freaking Bats palette, the collaboration between Beauty Bean and Shroud Cosmetics. And beyond like the color story being like a grungy, dark, perfect story, it is the collaboration with Beauty Bean who made, who chose the shades as like a way of representing her and she is for me 
the queen of grunge, or like grungy looks. She, that's what she does, and that's what she does best. So it's probably a bit more dark than it is grungy, I think, but still has a grunge edge. So I think it just works perfectly for that question. An eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the girl in me. It, it was, I think, a bit difficult for me to like connect to that term in a way. I guess I kind of like took that question as like what what kind of represents like for me makes me feel I guess like a glamorous woman or like a beautiful woman or a powerful woman. It's kind of like what I thought of. And the one I decided to go with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Jackie Aina palette. I really like Jackie Aina. I think she's an incredible woman. She really knows how to do makeup and she is extremely fabulous. And I don't want to call anyone girly, but she feels like, I don't know, like an expensive woman. This palette kind of represents her a lot. It's, it's very like glamorous and there are some very beautiful color and like we have a bright Barbie pink, which I think is like the epitome of girly. But there are some very glamorous tones in there and I just, I don't know, it kind of like that's what popped in my mind when I saw the question. I was like, huh. When I want to feel glamorous and expensive, that's kind of what I would reach for. Uh, so yeah, that's what I decided to go with. The seventh question is an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents fun. And whether it's packaging, or concept or color story, I think I've got the one for this. I feel like a lot of my palettes are fun. Uh, I mean, the reason why I buy them, but if I were to think of a palette that kind of makes me think of fun, I'll probably pick the Creepy Cute palette from Shard Cosmetics. I mean, the concept is like, it's literally creepy and cute. It's so fun as a concept, but like the color story, it's just beautiful pastels, but they, they can really, pack a punch and you can really get them as like almost neon-esque. It's a beautiful formula, but besides that, I just feel like it's loads of fun. I mean, the shades are like, there's a shade called Creep It Real, like play on words, you know. There's a, a shade called Strawberry Milk. I don't know, it just makes me think a lot of fun. So that's the one I kind of decided to go with. I just, I think it's also a fun idea to like combine these two concepts in like creepy monster-esque but associate an element of cute. I just think it's a fun palette and it's also a lot fun to play with. So that's why I picked that one. The eighth and final question is an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents inspiration. Um, not an easy one and again, I keep mentioning her and I'm not picking her for anything, but the Arcana palette I think is super inspiring. I don't know if she represents inspiration, but I find this color story very inspiring. I just, it, it really speaks to me. But I think something that I feel, feels maybe more emblematic of inspiration it is another color palette. And it is the one I ended up picking, and it is the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Cosmetic palette. I wasn't sure at the beginning. I was I ended up getting it as like kind of the last batches were being made. They still had a few palettes in stock, and I ended up grabbing it at that point because I was I seen like tutorial looks, and it's just actually this palette is very inspiring. I just there are neutrals on that side, and there's like a rainbow color palette on the other side, but it's not just rainbow. I find the colors a lot more, even though I guess the orange and the red are kind of like classic orange and red, I guess the yellow probably, but I love yellow. Like the green and the blue are a lot more interesting. They're more like teal. The, the pink is like a fuchsia pink. And being all mats, there's something very inspiring and like something that really gets my creative juice going. Because mats are a lot more, I find them, a, I mean, they're obviously mats, I find them to be a lot more flexible than shimmers because even though you can use a shimmer as like a blended in the crease, depending on the texture you have on your eyes and stuff, it can not look the best. And on me, I don't think it looks the best. So I feel like because you got all this mats and you can just like, pick a bit of this and go on the other side and pop 
a beautiful color in the center. I don't know, I just feel like it's very inspiring despite being mostly a neutral and rainbow palette, but because we've got the combination of the two, I just want to keep reaching up for it. And the, the neutrals I find to be very inspiring as well and very inspired. It's not just boring, super boring neutrals, I would say. We've got like a yellow that is quite a bright yellow. These brands have a beautiful olive undertone, which is not that common for like a neutral. Got like a muted coral. This mauve pink is my obsession. I really dig into that. And we've got like a orange camel cognac color. I, I don't know. I... I keep to I I keep want to reach for it and create new looks with it. It's just like I, I find it very inspiring. I'm trying not to name a, a palette multiple categories, but I think the it's freaking bats palette is very very inspiring. Inspired. I'm just I, I'm mind blown by like the the color story being so beautifully created and having these shimmers that just pair so well, but they're very unique and special. I love this palette too, but. And that's it, that's the entire tag. I it was a lot of fun. I love I love listening but also love talking about things I'm very passionate about and makeup is definitely something I'm very passionate about, especially again eyeshadow palettes is even more exciting to talk about. I really hope you enjoy kind of listening uh, to me talk about all these palettes and why I pick them and so on. If you have a channel, please consider doing this tag. It's a lot of fun and I found that it really got my kind of it got myself really thinking and scratching and kind of thinking about my actual palette collection and it was also very interesting to explore them and see why I love them and why I pick them for certain things. So yeah, definitely a very really fun thing to do. Um, I would recommend. <laughs> if you want to do the tag, I would leave the questions in the description box below. Um, as well as some of the people I've chosen to tag because I'm curious about their choices of eyeshadow palettes. Before we leave each other, if you want to support my channel, please consider leaving a like uh, and also leaving a comment with telling me what you thought about this video. Uh, any interaction with my channel and videos will help me gain visibility in the YouTube algorithm and that's always really appreciated. But if you don't know what to say in your comment but still want to support my channel, feel free to just leave this tag emoji. And yeah, I really thank you for your support. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.